Ferrigno Jr. and Oliver Stark on the hit ABC series 911. Lou and Oliver are joining us now. Welcome, gentlemen. So, so Oliver, when did you find out that uh, who was going to be cast as your love interest? Yet? So, so honestly, like, not very long before we were. Uh, Doing that scene, um, you yeah, know. So that 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 was episode nice four. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, as it often goes, um, right. that was episode four, and I think Tim Minear, our showrunner, called me in like during episode three, and he said, or maybe maybe episode two, and said, you know, I'm I'm, I'm thinking about this storyline. Uh, I've spoken to Lou already, he said, and, and he's on board. How do you feel about it? And I said, hell yeah, let's let's do it. I'm I'm excited. Lou, what can fans expect about, for this relationship? Where's this one going? Uh, Don't you break his heart. Well, I'd love to tell you. I'd love to <laughs> spill it all. Uh, but right now, it's at a good place, um, as far as I can disclose. And I, I think it's affecting people in a really positive way. I think it's a, um, it's just been a really lovely reception. And I just, I hope it continues. Now, you posted something recently about the cast commuting on a, on a small boat. Yeah. Right. What, uh, what were you shooting there? <laughs> I like to have a little fun, Mario. Okay. And this was on the way back from shooting. And, you know, just given the moment, uh, I think Oliver and Ryan didn't know I was filming, but we were on a boat and I was just living life and it was a beautiful day. And I was just, yeah, it was the only thing that came out of my mouth. So. There you go. We, we, we started the season with this big cruise ship Capsizing. emergency. Yeah. Correct, yes. So uh, we, we got the kind of, in fact, long end of the stick. We had a very easy shoot. We came in for a couple of days at the end. Pete and Angela had a much rougher time. So that was us going home feeling good about ourselves, having done our one hard day of work and, uh, and enjoying it as much as we could. Against the, the boat. Yes. Getting to know a lot of the cast, too. A very cool cast. Yeah. And, uh, Jeff Love Hewitt, Angela, Ryan, yeah. all the guys. Very cool cast. That must be a fun uh, set to work it with. It is. It's, I know everybody says this, but like, genuinely, it's, it's a family. Um, we're on hiatus now, but we still see each other. We still talk to each other. It's, it's a close-knit group That's of people, cool. which I, I think translates, you know, when you watch the show, you, you, you feel that. Yeah. Are fans going to be excited about the finale? Do we deliver? What can you share? I hope we deliver. Um, I think the fans are going to be a little heartbroken. Uh oh. It's uh. Uh oh. Are we losing a cast member? No, uh, come oh. on. I, I would never oh, say oh, such. Oh, 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 right <laughs> No, it's, it's trying to get someone fired. It's, a, right. um, it's an emotional one. It's it's you know it, we're going big. We've had a shorter season this year, so we are going very heavy-handed when it comes to the finale and. I think we're going to be pulling on some hot strings, but you know, hey, that's what you want out of dramas, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, good for you. Hey, Lou, I got to fan out for a minute, man, because I was a huge fan of your of your dad, and I love me some Incredible Hulk growing up. I'm older than you guys, so that was just <laughs> I. Oh, I always wanted a Hulk out right there. What do people <sighs> turn up the AC in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do people say when they uh, uh, find out he's your dad? Uh, usually, it's through the name. Uh, I don't. I, I bear more of a resemblance to my mother. And uh, but it's it's really adulation and a tremendous amount of respect from here to across the globe. It's remarkable. I was in Thailand. I was paying with a check, and my name was on the check. And then someone's like, Frito? like Hulk?" And I was like, "Man, I go across the world, and people still yeah. recognize that." But it's it's a lot. It's with a lot of respect, and I appreciate it. I gotta imagine um, he's giving you some great tips because you're in pretty good shape yourself, my man. So thank you. you, you guys do uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's getting hot. Uh, um, I, I do what I can. I mean, uh, bodybuilding has really instilled a tremendous sense of self-reliance and discipline in my life, which allows me to control my weight and control my the mental aspect of what I do and to stay um, consistent. It requires a lot of discipline. You want to yeah, give me yeah. any physical compliments yeah. as well? <laughs> Oliver, I'm coming to you. <laughs> I'm uh, right next to him. Oliver's job before you were a firefighter, you played a real life patient for doctors. Please yeah. tell us a couple of these funny stories. Yeah, it's actually the only job I've ever been, uh, well, thus far anyway, been fired from. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it was a way for me to make money when I was, you know, not working very consistently as an actor. I would go in and do these role play things with doctors who were getting their license and, and I would have to basically pretend to, you know, have whatever ailments oh. the scenario was. But yeah, only job I've ever been fired from because I had, for whatever reason, had a heavy night, I probably think drinking. Um, he's hungover, he's yeah, laying there. And, and couldn't stay awake, um, <laughs> which is not... 
what this particular patient was meant to have and this poor doctor keeps on turning to her examiners and saying I think he has a head wound or a head injury <laughs> mm. and it's like no no I don't just just stay with me but I, I couldn't stop myself nodding off and uh he's not yeah, fired okay. that was that was the, oh, the only great. job I was say, improv skills there. so far that I've been fired from but uh, who knows what the future holds well yeah. we love this show great to see you both